Okay, so this lecture is about, we call it Koppel force system. Now, we do Koppel force system, like equivalent system about a given point. So we look at the whole structure. We carry everything to that point. Now, if I have a structure like this, again, in this example, now, in this structure, I have different forces that I apply. And could be different external moment, right? The moment that I apply from outside. So I have force F1, F2, F3, F4. So I like to replace the whole force and moment system, like for instance, in a given point, point A. I want to see if I carry all this to point A, what would happen to point A? What's the equivalent of all this system at point A? Now, in order to do this, there are steps that we follow. Step one is that we break forces in X and Y. In X, Y components. Or simply, we call them F of X and F of Y. Uh, if you have the angle with the positive X axis, F of X is cosine X, F of Y is sine X, but if, depending on the angle, right? If the angle is with the Y, the equation will change. Now, in step two, I'm going to find the moment from all forces about point A. So once you find the moment from all forces about point A, uh, again, when you want to find the, all the moments, remember you find all the moment from the forces, so it will be force times distance for all of them, right? And then you need to consider the sign, whether the sign is positive or negative, clockwise or counterclockwise, and also distance has to be perpendicular distance, plus the external moment. Sometimes you have the external moment applying to the system. In step three, I'm going to find f of r. So to find f r, you can find f r x, which is sum of f of x, and you find f of y, which is f r of y, which is sum of f of y. Once you found these two, you can find f r. f r is equal to root square of f r x to the power of two plus f r y to the power of two. So Basically, I found f of r. If I want to find theta on that place, I'm going to say theta is equal to tan inverse of f r y over f r x. Let my, le my lecture to make it shorter and just do an example from what do I mean. So I want to replace, in this example, I want to replace the force couple the, all the three forces that apply in this system with one couple moment in location of A. So how can I do that? In order to do this, uh, I would follow the steps that I mentioned to you uh, a minute earlier, and then I would follow those steps to make that. So in the steps that I told you, the first step was to break them in X and Y. Again, we already did this in, in the other video, so this will be 250 cosine 30. And this will be 250 sine 30. I'm going to break down the, the other force. This will be 300 cosine 60. I have 300 sine 60. I would do the same thing here. Down here will be 500, 3 over 5, and 500, 4 over 5. So I break the three forces to six components, right? In all the components are either in X, either in Y. So I can go to the next step. The next step would be to find the sum of moment. So step one is done. Step two was to find the moment about point A. So what we did last time was that we look at every component and we find the moment from that component. This one is going through, so nothing. The next one is 250 cosine 30 times the distance is 2 and that's going clockwise okay so this will be clockwise and the distance is 2 the next one is 300 sine 60 so it will be minus 300 sine 60 you know what we put minus because that's clockwise too right into distance which is 5 I'll continue that to 500 
3 over 5 and that 500 3 over 5 is going counterclockwise the distance for that was 4 minus 500 4 over 5 the distance for that was uh, 4 over 5 the distance for that is 5 so if you add all this component together you would give you will be getting for this moment the sum of it you are going to get minus 1983 okay so this is actually the sum of the moment about point a newton meter so if i want to replace everything at point a i already have the sum of moment all i need to do i need to find frx and fry so frx fry and then i need to find fr and the theta so frx the sum of the force on dx i have 250 sine 30 minus 300 cosine 60 so this is this way that's that way and then plus 500 3 over 5 so that will be frx on fry i'm gonna have minus 250 cosine 30 that's going down minus 300 sine 60 that's going down and then minus 500 4 over 5 so I found FRX I found FRY I can find FR FR would be equal to root square of FRX to the power of 2 plus FRY to the power of 2 and theta is tan inverse of FRY over FRX. Let's just make them uh, numerically. So I'm going to use my calculator to calculate them. So I have 250 sine 30 minus 300 cosine 60 plus 500 times 0 0.6 275 for this. For next one, I have minus 250 cosine 30 minus 300 sine 60 minus 500 times 0 0.8. I have minus 876 for this. So f of r would be equal to simply, I just want to check my answer for this. 300 sine 60 minus 500 times okay perfect so I have uh, this one to the power of 2 275 to the power of 2 plus again I'm not going to use the minus here because anyway I'm raising to the power of 2 so I have square root of 275 to the power of 2 plus yes please you decide to use the 250 sine of 30 minus 300 cosine of 60. That's the sum, that's the sum on the x, okay? We put fr x, right? fr x is the sum on the x, so you add all your x component to it. You have a 250 sine 30 as the x component, right? You have a 300 cosine 60 as the x component, and then down here you have the 500 3 over 5 as the x component. You look at their direction, what direction they are, and then you add them simply here. We did the same thing for... The, yeah, so that's on the y, right? That will be used for the sum of the y. FRY in stan, stands for uh, resultant force on the y, or sum of the force on the y. And the sum of the force on the y, we have a 250 cosine 30 pointing down, a negative, a negative 300 sine 60, pointing down and the last one is minus 500 4 over 5 pointing down so you put them again into your calculator and then that's the answer you're going to get so for moment you have to use all the constituents yeah you cannot make a decision for moment to take one of them for moment we use all of it the reason that, again, in this video, I didn't do all of it, because in the other video, I showed you that, for instance, 250 sine 30 is crossing the point. The moment is zero for this. For 300 cosine 60, the moment for this is zero, because it's crossing the point. There is no perpendicular distance for that. 
but the rest of them have a distance. So anyway, anyway, if you have the point, if you have the force doesn't cross the point, there is a moment from it, and then you have to consider it. So in this case, I, I already have the f of r, which is nine one eight. So I'm going to circle it here. The theta, yeah. So let me calculate the theta too. So theta is equal to tan inverse of tan inverse of f r y, which is minus eight seventy six divided by two seventy five. And the answer for this so is tan inverse of minus. 76 divided by 275. Uh, all of them are Newton, right? So FR is in Newton. The unit for all of it is Newton. So for 876 would be 876N? Yeah, 876 Newton, yeah. Because we are working on Newton. So this is minus 72 degrees. So how I would show all of this answer at point A? In order to show your final answer at point A, you draw the point A. At point A, how much we have on the X? We have 275 on the X, like this, minus 876 on the Y, like this, right? The resultant of these two will be a force like this, and FR is equal to 918 Newton. The angle here, theta, which was equal to 72 degrees. And then we have a moment here. The moment that we have as overall moment is 1983. 1983, there is a negative on it. So this means that's clockwise. So that will be my resultant force or resultant action for it. And the resultant I have is 1983 Newton meter. So this is how we solve the example, but step by step, the first step is that uh, you, f you break the forces in X and Y, you find the FRX, you find the FRY, you can find FR and theta, and also we calculate the moment. So I have a couple more examples. I want to I jump into your quizzes, uh, because many of you, you send a question related to quizzes, the thing that I haven't covered them yet. So let me quickly go over those. So in quiz 2, sorry, quiz 3, about force couple system, Okay, let me start with the first problem. So, problem one. Okay, in this problem, the question asks me, replace the three forces applied by equivalent force coupled system acting at point A. So, the first part is that match the values for X component of Y, X and Y for F1, F2, and F3. Meaning that I need to find F1X, F2X, and then going on from there, right? So in order to find, for instance, F1X, F1X in this example, F1X is zero, doesn't have any component, but F1Y is minus 375. Again, you can select minus 375. F1X even did not ask you for that. F2X, you can find the angle here, which would be like four over five, um, four over three. The angle here is like 53.1. You can find the component for two F2X and F2Y. Uh, which is similarly you can go ahead for F2X which is again F1X is here is 0 and F2X uh, I have 500 it's going to point that way so it's going to be again don't look at my hand because my hand is reversed on the computer but this is actually pointing to the left so that's negative uh, 3 over 5 so it will be like minus 300 pounds so minus 300 pounds for uh, F2X Again, you can select different values for this one. In the next question, like in the part two, ask us what's the value for the moment from each force. Again, the way that we do this quiz is step by step, right? For like for instance, F2Y. F2Y is pointing down. It's going to go about point A clockwise. Because it's going to go clockwise, it will be negative. Now, the component F2Y itself was... 400, right? So 400 going down times 14. So will be 400 times 14. The answer is 5600. And that 5600 is 
negative because it's going to go clockwise. Uh, going to F2x, F2x is going through the point, right? The moment for that will be zero. But for F3x, we're going to have a moment. And F3y, we're going to have a moment. So you would be able to do all these parts. Uh, the very last part of this question, as uh, you can see, ask us for FR, theta, and total moment. The total moment is the same as the moment that you found here. You need to add all these constituents together. If you have external moment, you need to add it to it. So once you found the answer for all these points, you add all those together, that will be your total moment. And then you need to find FR and theta the way that we showed you on those equations. In order to find FR and theta, this is how you found FR and theta. FR is the root square of FRx plus FRy, and theta is equal to tan inverse of FRy over FRx. So uh, I'm going to do one more example. In the other example I have is, again, this is a very simpler example from what I solved. Uh, in this case, I have three forces. All three forces are on the Y. And then I want to replace all these forces with one couple force system at point A. So again, I follow the same step. Break the forces in X and Y. I don't need to do that. They are already in the Y. Step two was to find the moment about point A. Find the moment about point A is equal to 15 kilonewton. So this is pointing down, and then you look at the distance, right? If you look at the distance from here to here, so this will create a clockwise rotation. A clockwise rotation means negative. So negative 15 times 3. The next one is 200. So how much distance for, sorry, the next one is 220. How much the distance for 20 will be? 20 times what? Six. Exactly, times 6. So because you have to go from point C to point A, and that distance is 6, clockwise or counterclockwise? So you look, it's, yeah, it's counterclockwise, exactly. Because it's, it's, if you look at the, 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 the direction of the force compared to this, it's going to rotate counterclockwise. So this will be positive, and last one will be negative. The negative is 2, 3, 3. The distance for that is 8, and then you can add them together. So if I add them with my calculator, I'm going to get minus 45 plus 120 minus 160 minus 85 kilonewton meter. And F of R, Y, which is the same as F of R in this case, is minus 15 plus 20 minus 20. So the answer is minus 15. So in this case, your theta, you don't need even to calculate your theta because your theta is already known. Uh, your FRx is zero, right? And then if you go even with tan inverse, because you're going to get infinity, tan inverse of infinity is uh, 90 degrees. So in this case, at point A, I have a 15 going down. That's the F of R, which is the same as F R Y, right? You don't have FRx in this example. FRx is zero. Now, the, you put the moment, which is 85. You're going to put it like this. That's the moment. It's equal to 85 kilonewton. You don't need to put the negative here because you, you define the direction already. Okay, so that will be how your answer is going to look like. So 15 so going down. You mean the this one or that one? Or this one. Okay, why the 20 is negative, right? Okay, because uh, because if you look at the direction of the force 20 kilonewton and then compare that to point A, the rotation will be clockwise. And clockwise was negative. Again, based on the rule that we have, counterclockwise is positive, clockwise is negative. Now, how I got that is just the same uh, direction, right? So if you look at, if you put your put one finger on the A and apply the force like this, the rotation will be clockwise. Okay, thank you. So...